Well, the reason that Ontarians should worry about nuclear reactors being rebuilt at Darlington and their lifetime prolonged to 2055 is that it's well recognized, even by the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission, that a core meltdown can take place. Uh, the industry now in Ontario is preparing to have diesel generators, fire trucks, all kinds of pumps ready in case there is a meltdown to douse it with water and minimize the consequences not to let that core meltdown get into the Fukushima situation. So when you have a core meltdown, perhaps you would prevent the Fukushima thing from happening, but you lose a, a reactor, you might have to shut down all the Canadian reactors based on the same candy technology. So it would be uh, an economic uh, catastrophe. Well, the biggest risk presented by the Darlington reactors, which are based on candy technology, is uh, what is called the positive uh, coefficient of nuclear reactivity. If a pipe breaks, like already happened in 1983 with Pickering A, if a pipe breaks and you lose water, the nuclear reaction can be accelerated. Within one or two seconds, the power can go up a factor of five, the thermal power, and it can start melting down the tubes. So uh, the industry has tried to compensate for this, but it really has not succeeded in doing this well. well. So I would say this is the biggest risk, this uh, positive nuclear reactivity coefficient that uh, pertains to the candy nuclear technology. Well, the question is, uh, can we trust the CNSC 100% to uh, protect us? Unfortunately, uh, the CNSC so far has not been working at the 100% 100 level as dictated by the Nuclear Safety Act of 1997. The CNSC has failed to inform the public in an objective and scientific way as to what can happen. For example, they have not given the number for the probability of a nuclear core meltdown in the Toronto area. They, they have yet to do that. And uh, they should give numbers on what the situation is regarding probabilities. When one looks at the map of Ontario, one sees very clearly that it's surrounded by very large areas of water. James Bay, the Great Lakes, over these large surfaces of water, there blows a very good wind. Plus, there is a lot of solar energy in Ontario. The potential for renewable energy in Ontario is tremendous and has been recognized. And the advantage of developing the renewable energies is that it would be available to everybody in Ontario, not just the people living in Pickering or Darlington or Ajax. That's the big advantage of renewable energy. It covers the entire province.